Fun. What's up, mortgage coach community? This is strategy interview number, I think, 51 or 52. But what makes this a super exciting milestone, this is the first strategy interview I've done since the launch of the new um, advice engine. So I'm with Scott Morris. What's up, Scott? Uh, nothing much, man. It's just a great, uh, great time to be in the business. Great time of the year. It's summertime. I live in San Diego, California. And just so grateful for you, Dave, and the Morse Coach community. Well, grateful for you, man. Every time I see you out and about, you always bring so much energy and just passion for the business. So I'm, I'm excited to be doing this interview. Um, I think you're doing what, about 10, 12 loans a month, um, trending over 50 million for the year? Yes, closer, hopefully closer to 60, 70 million is kind of my goal this year and to help 125, uh, 125 families. And I'm on pace for that. On pace for that, which is great. You know, congratulations. I mean, that is, well, that's the half a percent, you know, anything over 25 million is, is really 1%, top 1% in the industry. So you're, you're killing it. Uh, you've also done a lot of total cost analysis. So why don't we just start with a little bit about your mortgage practice and why you use mortgage coach to give advice to clients? Sure. So just a little background on me is I've, uh, 25 year veteran of the industry, um, enjoy it, love it. And about, I'll tell you a little story, about three years ago, I got to the point where like, you know, this is, this is just not as fun as it used to be. And uh, lo and behold, I discovered Mortgage Coach and uh, discovered Mortgage Coach and also you turned me on to Darren Hardy. And uh, oh, gotta, that's right. Yeah, I gotta tell you, 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 the Mortgage Coach community really changed my life in a positive way, uh, my outlook, my attitude towards kind of the whole, you know, kind of the mortgage, you know, the whole mortgage world, because it's changing so fast, as we've been talking about the last two years, even three years. And this is just under three years ago, I think I just, you know, started, discovered you guys and started using it, it was late, late 16 or early 17. And, um, you know, really, uh, I, I'm grateful for you because you give, 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 and you never ask. And so anytime you ask, I'm sure people are like, Dave, whatever you want, I'll be there, right? I mean, no one says no to Dave Savage. So, no, I don't know about that. I, trust me, people say no to me all the time. <laughs> but, uh, but thank you cool. for saying yes. Really appreciate uh, what you do. Um, really help my business, help me focus my business. I do, I, I mean, your mortgage coach community has become kind of my coach, you know, in a, in a big way. I don't have a personal coach, um, although I'm getting close to, to doing that just because I need the discipline at the end of the day, I think. And just want to tell me, no, that's not right. You got to do it this way. My practice is... Um, you know, it's probably 60% past clients, sphere of influence, people that I come across, 25, 30% um, realtor business, which I've increased that the last couple of years because you need to do it. Um, and then the rest of it is, you know, fan financial planners and bankers. I get a lot of deals from community banks, local bankers that, that don't do loans. Like community banks don't do mortgages because it's too much headache for them. So I get a lot of referrals from them. Working on three of them right now, as a matter of fact. So well, that's that's awesome. Well, I think that's very diversified lead source. And when you are getting sixty percent of your past customers, I mean, you you've got an iron proof business. So that's that's fantastic. Now, why why mortgage coach? Like, why specifically the total cost analysis? Is that so important? And maybe maybe you have to go back to three years ago when you decided, like, oh, I'm going to start using this. What is your mortgage coach? Why? My mortgage coach why is I'm a education based mortgage provider. I, uh, I aim to please, I wanna help. Um, I, I really believe the more you give, the more you get at the end of the day. Um, I'm, I play professional tennis um, after playing tennis my whole life. And so I'm very competitive, but in a humble way, I'm not obviously competitive in, uh, but I wanna win for my clients. The more I win for my clients, the more I'm gonna win at the end of the day. And that's how I look right. at it. So, uh, the mortgage coach is so clear and so easy to communicate to people that, you know, it's, it's just, it's astounding. I mean, it's so, it's so nice to be able to say, Hey, here are your options. Here's where you look at. Let's have a conversation around what you want to do and what your plans are. And it's just a great piece, a great tool to have a conversation around to get people kind of woken up to the wealth building opportunity, their financial goals, getting financial freedom and, and how, how they can really build wealth by owning real estate. And so 
I use it for that reason. I use it 100% of the time on every single borrower that I have, unless they don't have an email, which I've actually had three loans recently <laughs> where they're past clients. They just, they don't have a computer. They don't have email. And so they trust at this point, they trust me enough. So, okay, this is what you got to do Blanca or Jim. And uh, I don't, they don't, so I don't, they don't get a mortgage code because they can't. Yeah. Hey, that, that makes sense. They're obviously not digital. So let's not de deliver a digital experience. If someone doesn't have an email or a mobile phone, that makes sense. Uh, let's give it to them in writing. You know, let's, you can still print out the TCA. So I, I love these interviews because I, I just learned something about you. I didn't know you were a professional tennis player. And so, you know, that tells me, yes, you're very competitive to make it into the, you know, the professional leagues of tennis. I mean, you've got to be great. And, and, and obviously you respect the best equipment. So I can only imagine when you saw a mortgage coach, you're like, oh, that's an advantage. You know, that is, that is the best equipment to be an educational based loan officer. 100%. So I love, I love that. So did you, did you go through the insane productivity program? You know, Darren Hardy's insane productivity? I did. Yeah. I did. Good. So, so for anybody that is a mortgage coach member and you want to go through that program, there's a big mortgage coach discount. Just email me, Dave at mortgagecoach.com. Uh, I, I think over two, 300 mortgage coach community members have been through that program. We're not going to sell it. Just email me if you want more information on it. Uh, also make sure you're, if you're watching this, you're a member of the mortgage coach insane productivity mastermind. That entire Facebook group was created and founded um, because of Darren Hardy. I mean, I, I went through the program. I wanted to upgrade my productivity and I'm, I'm stoked to hear that you went through it and you loved it. And it was part of making the business fun for you again. So, so one of the things I like to do in these mortgage strategy interviews is I want to talk about some strategies that you've done for families so that we're helping other loan officers think strategically. So I know you've got two different total cost analysis that you're going to show us. Why don't you start with just kind of telling the family story and the strategies that you presented. And then at some point here, we'll pull up the TCA and we'll go through it. Sure. Sure. So one of them is a refinance. Um, and this, the, this gal, she bought this house uh, about nine months ago, 10 months ago. Um, she's actually uh, makes is a clothing manufacturer and uh so her mom and dad, her dad's a realtor for 40 plus years. Mom's in real estate too. And they have been telling her, hey, you got to buy a house. And they helped her buy the house at the end of the day. And um, she bought it about, again, it's up in Northern California, Oakland area. And she bought it about nine months ago. And, she, you know, nine months ago, the rates were 5%. We actually got our four and seven eights. And uh, so I finally got on their phone today and she's a millennial. So I texted her, finally got her on a phone call and got her on the computer with an edge live and just went through her refinance options with her. And, uh, you well, know, let's pull it up. Yeah. Pull it up. By the way, we're calling out mortgage coach lab now. So edge edge was the old platform. The new platform is the advice engine. Uh, at some point in this conversation, I'll tell, I'll give you a minute on why we went from edge to advice engine. Uh, Cause we really want to help not only the family, you know, get better advice with the total cost analysis. We want to upgrade loan officers. So we wanted to have a, I don't know, a sales training and advice training platform. So the advice engine is just that. So Scott, share your screen and I'll tell you when I can see it. And why don't you walk us through the options that you provided to this um, first time home buyer? Well, not a first, this homeowner that recently bought a home. Right, just refinancing. Okay, did I get it? Now, share the screen, click on the, the green box in Zoom. Yep. You'll see uh, with the arrow pointing up. And as soon as I see that coming up, I'll let you know. Okay. I clicked on it. Hmm. It's not coming up. Click, click on Zoom down in the menu and maybe there's like another, you've got to click on it and then you've got to pick which screen you want to go into. Oh, then I got to click the share button. There, there go. you go. I knew there was one more button. So I'm getting technologically savvy with Mortgage Coach. There you go. 25 year veteran, learning new things every day. So tell us what we're looking at here. I notice you use options. I see some loan officers that put in loan programs. I see that some that say strategy one, two, and three, but you do option one, two, three. So what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I always um, will use 
either strategy one, two, strategy one, strategy two, uh, strategies or options. Sometimes I'll call it a fixed option, number one, or fixed strategy, number one, um, or, you know, sometimes it'll be, and they'll say 30 next to it, or it'll say 15, depending on what the client is really looking for. I'm trying to be as clear as I can be the first time I speak to them to start a conversation around, hey, what are you really, what are you looking for at the end of the day? And then they have this link to look at and refer back to you because not everybody gets it the first time you talk to them. And a lot of stuff right. goes in their head. So I want to be able to, I want them to be able to refer back to our conversation and the, uh, I call it a loan clarity analysis. That's what I call it. Ooh, I like that. Everybody catch that? He calls it the loan clarity analysis. So we call it the total cost analysis. A lot of loan officers call it that, but I, I love it. And I think loan clarity analysis makes a lot of sense. And so, thank so you for, we'll, for, for we'll, yeah. real, real quick, before you walk us through this, because we got something unique from you there. What, what is your scripting or talking points before you forward the email to the client so that when they get the email, they click on it? Like, what does that sound like? You know, just the 30 seconds to a minute on how you pre-frame it for the family? Sure, so it's a, uh, I pre-frame to whoever I'm talking to the phone, says, I'm gonna be sending you what I call a loan clarity analysis. It's a side-by-side -side comparison of the options that we're kind of talking about. And the, it's to start a conversation around getting you confident and clear so that you can make the best decision for your family. So when you get the email, it'll in the subject line say loan clear analysis. I'll ask you to click on the link and watch the video that I provide because I do a video on every single one of them. And then I want to make a, a five or 10 minute, uh, carve out five or 10 minutes with you just so I can walk you through it so that you completely understand it. Love that. So guys, great scripting. I mean, that was 20 seconds, but I want to give you clarity and confidence so that you can make an informed decision. Write that down, get clear on your, your value prop as you forward this. So walk us through this strategy. And it does sound like you often have the family on the other side. So you're taking them through it in a live experience. Is that right? Correct. Um, that's correct. I'm, I, uh, I, I, I used uh, the guy you had. I listened to one of your videos. Yes, I work out and I listen to your videos when I work out. So Yeah, that's great. I, like a podcast. Yeah, like a podcast. The, your, um, the guy who does all Dave Ramsey stuff. So yeah, Craig, his, Craig Spence. Craig yeah, Spence. Craig, I tried his strategy this morning, and so I sent this link to the bar, and when she got it, it only had her current um, situation on in the far left. Nice. So you built it out for yeah, her. Love yeah. that. Yeah. So what I did is I said, here's where you're at now. You know, you bought it last September or last October. And, uh, you know, you bought a 49, so you've got some upside and value and even appraised a little more than, so it could be even more than this. I just couldn't tell for sure what, you know, based on the comps. Your loan balance has gone down to 363. Your rate is this, and the payment includes your tax. It includes everything. So um, let me just show you where the rates are at now, um, and then we can discuss, figure out which kind of option works best for you. So I click the button in my mortgage advice um, tool and I put in option one. I said, now here's an option for you where you know, you'll know you see on the, on the right-hand side, it's gonna save you $215 a month. And it's 3.75, far less rate than what you have now. She's like, wow, that's a good savings, 215, I like that. So that's great. So, but you know, to, to you further wanna understand there's some other options out there, which I wanna educate you on to make sure you're making the best decision for yourself. You know, So at the end of the day, I said to her, you know, let me show you option two. It's a little bit higher rate, a little less savings, a little less costly. And there's even a third option, which is um, much a lot lower costs, not quite as much savings, uh, but still makes a lot of sense, still saves you money. So let's talk about how long you, you might want to be in this, in this house, you know? She said, well, you know, I don't know for sure. And I said, you know, you're young, so you may not know if your business continues to grow. You may want to buy a bigger, better, nicer house in a better neighborhood, you know, and that's one, one route to take. Another route to take was, you know, your continuous business to grow, you get married and, um, you know, you want to buy a bigger, better, nicer house, but you can keep this one and rent it out. So your time frame for renting it out, you might keep this house indefinitely, which I know, you know, your parents are real estate, so they're going to encourage you to do that, to build wealth through owning real estate, because that's, I, I got a lot of clients over 25 years and the wealthiest clients I've had have, have a ton of real estate, a 
ton of real estate. Um, so we talked through it and um, she, you know, we, we went through kind of different options where you have lower cost and we looked at the savings over 60 months. So they're about the same amount of money savings over 60 months, but I showed her down below in, in the interest in 15 years that uh, there's a huge savings over 15 years by doing the 3.75 versus what she has now. She said, well, I, I think I need to do this. Uh, so. Nice. So confidence, clarity, education. One, one suggestion um, or a consideration for you is to show an option where she prepays the savings. So, hey, what if we took that to 75 a month and prepaid your mortgage? How much faster would you pay off your mortgage? How much interest you'd save? And then maybe let's do another option where what if you took that 270 and you invested it with a financial planner? You know, how much faster could you pay off your mortgage? Do you ever do that move with anybody? I do on occasion. If they're, if they're sophisticated enough, I definitely do the move where we invest the difference in the payments. Um, I did that for a client who they're two guys that retired and they want to get a 15 year fixed. And I was competing with them against Costco of all places. So right. Costco guy has a 3.1 rate and yours is 3.125. I said, okay, uh, let's look and see, send me the stuff he sent you. So he sent the guys sent. he sent me the stuff the Costco guy sent. it was a fee sheet to, you know, a good faith right? fee sheets that you see. And I said, look, his rate is also 3.125 and mine's 3.125, but my costs are the same, if not better, actually they hundred dollars better. And I said, by the way, but really, why do you want a 15 year fixed? You know, you're, you're, um, you know, you could invest the difference between a 30 and a 15 year is $800 a month. And I did a uh, loan clear analysis form and I invested the $800 a month at 5% return. I said, you have a financial advisor, Sure, it could get 5% for you very, very conservatively. And uh, believe it or not, the, uh, the difference is like you're, you have enough money to pay the loan off in 178 months. And you still have the low payment. And when you're in your retirement, you could probably afford this payment quite easily as opposed to the 15 year payment. So yeah, and financial planners like that. Oh, you know, he took it to his financial planner. Well, let me check my financial planner. And the financial planner called him back and said, this is awesome. I love this. And Unfortunately, that financial planner is in Santa Barbara, so I couldn't go visit him and grab him for lunch and grab a beer with them. But I'm not. But he has. They have a branch down here of a couple of guys that I work with. Long story short, one of the guys that is from Santa Barbara works down here, and his coworker was the guy who had met with my client. Small world, six degrees of separation, and he called me and said, "Hey, I was at a cocktail party with uh, with uh, with with Anthony Allen, Anthony, and they said they 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 loved your you know they had talked to you about getting a loan. They loved it so." Okay. Love it. So, well, let's do this. So, so first of all, I'm also going to put a link to an interview I did with Craig Strent, where he especially does like $50 million a year with financial planners. I mean, that's his, his, his primary vertical link down below and a cornerstone strategy that every mortgage coach should be able to do is, you know, get a 30 and pay it like a 15, you know, whether you invest the difference, whether you prepay it, I think if you talk to Craig Strett and Dave Ramsey, they'd say prepay it. And if you talk to, or excuse me, um, Craig Spitz and Dave Ramsey, they'd prepay it. And if you talk to Craig Strett and Rick Edelman, they'd say, hey, invest the difference. Uh, so let's really quick pull up a purchase strategy and let's go through this in like two or three minutes. I wanna hear how you position the purchase strategy and, and how and any, any nuances to it. Just because, yeah, it looks like you're doing options again, although you're giving options and some, you know, down payment details. So what are we looking at here? So we're looking at here is this uh, client here is, was, you know, she has about 200 and some odd thousand dollars available to her to, to put down on the property. And she said, well, what if I put 25%? What if I put 30% down? What if I put 35% down? So we had a conversation before I dialed this in to a 25 and 30% down payments. And so what I did is I, you know, again, same thing. It's how long you live in the property, how long you're going to keep the loan, a Tim Brahim strategy, not how long you live there, but how long you're going to keep the loan. And um, she, uh, you know, we, we sat down and she bought this property last week. And so I went down and, and met with her halfway because the traffic's bad in San Diego. And uh, we decided that um, at putting 30% down 
she liked the, the payment. It was not so much about the payment, it was more about her having enough money in the bank after she closed that she was comfortable and having the right Love combination of, of payment. So she has about 215,000 available to her. She's gonna have no debt whatsoever except this. She's a school teacher for 20 years. So she makes enough money. She said, I can make plenty of money to pay that payment, either one of those payments. But I think over the long run, I like the lower payment. Um, we talked about points and no points, which is 3.625 versus with one point versus 3.875 with, with no points. And she said, I like the lower rate. I like the, the cash to close. It gives me over $60,000 in the bank when I'm, when I'm done. I'm really comfortable with that. I can use that to travel a little bit because when I'm off to school, I love to travel. And so that was the one we ended up with, which is the one I highlighted. It was highlighted from when I talked to her yesterday. We locked it in and moving forward to getting it done. So guys, this is, this is a combination of pick your payment, pick your down payment, and you gave this family clarity. Now, Scott, I am going to push you, and I'd love to do an interview in a month or two, to literally try to do either a prepay strategy or a um, reinvest in difference with maybe not every single client, but after they've picked their options, and especially when they picked an option that has the lowest payment, whether it's a refi or a purchase, always show them that like, hey, if you prepaid an extra 100, if you prepaid the difference between this loan or this loan, or if you invested, again, decide whether it's a, an investment client that you're gonna do, uh, and, then if, and then sometimes the client is on the fence. Hey, should I invest or should I prepay? You know, we used to call that the brother A versus brother B. Brother A prepaid the mortgage and became debt free. Brother B always invested and benefited from the tax benefits and the arbitrage on interest rates um, between what he could earn and what mortgages are. But I, I would love for you to try to do that more often for the next, uh, I don't know, 30 days and maybe do another interview with you and, see like when you're you're leading with that even when the client's not pushing you to do it what are your thoughts on that i love it no that's a great great suggestion and that's why i'm part of the community because i'm trying to get better every day and that's something i should be doing and it's it's not hard to do it's super simple it's got to make one more you know add one more column to it or yeah it's really really with, let me show you how really we're going to make you you know add value to to what well, we do for you well, let's, let's wrap it up. I want you to show the very top of your screen with your picture and your company logo. I want everybody just to make sure they're, they're seeing how you're packaging advice. If you could just scroll up. So, you know, you're very intentional about your brand. You've got your company logo. Scroll down to the bottom. Great job to your, for your company um, using social survey. Notice that your, your five-star reviews are integrated. So anybody watching this, this is the epitome of a professional advice base mortgage quote. You know, this is how you should be giving advice. Uh, Scott, if you could stop sharing the screen real quick. Uh, if anybody is watching this, has a question, feel free to post that button down below in Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever platform you're watching or listening this to. All the time we have people that they, they watch it on YouTube, but they really do it like a podcast. I hear that all the time. Uh, but post questions down below. If you've got a takeaway or there was something that you liked about it, give us a like. If you loved it, give us a love and share this with your mortgage friends. Uh, my last question for you, Scott, is what advice would you give to your younger self? There's a lot of new loan officers in the business. There's a lot of loan officers that have never closed 10 loans in a single month. You know, you're averaging 10 loans a month in San Diego. Uh, what advice would you give to someone who's either never hit that milestone or someone that's new in the business? Oh, my advice would be to my younger self would be, you know, create a process for yourself, really a routine. It starts with the morning routine. I can tell you as part of the mortgage coach community and books I've been reading, people that I know, even Tiger Woods said, you, you know, he posted an Instagram video. He's up at one o'clock in the morning a week before the British Open saying, look, if you're not getting up early and taking care of your business, you're never going to reach your goals. The most successful people get up at six, sometimes with a five in front of them in the morning and get their day rolling, get their day, get their day started and focus on what they need to do that day. And then uh, it just makes it much easier for your day to roll and have a, have a real uh, a process, a routine for every client that you come across, you know, 
like you said, scripting is important or talk, talking points, you know, they're different for different people. Um, being able to be flexible and know your business well enough to be flexible and know, like you said, when to present a pay down strategy versus a reinvestment strategy because not everybody is of the mentality to reinvest or have the money to reinvest. Um, so a pay down strategy is just adding more value to those people. So again, morning routine helps you know your business better, gives you a routine while you're uh, meeting with people, whether it's referral partners or lead clients or people that are, you're going to help. Um, Build wealth Love it. And just get on it. Well, guys, it's been a great call. Scott, thank you for the time that you spent investing with us. Uh, any, any first impressions from the advice engine? I know you just saw it for the first time yesterday, but what were your first impressions when you saw it? Um, my first impression is it's, it's awesome. It's intuitive. It's not, too, it's not difficult at all to navigate and figure out. Um, it's way quick. It feels like it's way quicker because you don't have to log in every time. Just that part is like, how, how come I have to log in every time? The, the remember <laughs> my password button's not working. So I love that. Love that. And um, I think it's, uh, it's got all the tools and all the reminders of just, you know what, be amazing to your clients every day. The videos, the social survey is awesome. Just quick, quick thing on the social survey. I want to give you a plug for that. Or my company got social survey. I know you've been, you, you like it. I love it. Um, you have to be intentional. You've got to be relevant digitally relevant in today's world or you will disappear quickly. Um, a year ago, I had like five reviews. Now I have 89. So nice. Getting after it. Did you hear that? So good job, social survey crew. Scott, you are the man. Uh, if you have some positive first impressions of uh, our new advice engine, post those down below. We're looking for testimonials. If you have some ideas to make it better, Email us, support at mortgagecoach.com. We're always trying to get better to make you the most professional, best mortgage professional you can be. Take care, everybody, and thank you very much, Scott. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. Take care.